everybody and welcome to the Elite Suite. Today we are going to be talking about Bundesliga investments and yes, we're back at the home setup after a couple of days of being away down at Lake Cumberland with a very, very, yeah, let's say unique setup we had. We are back and hopefully the video quality will be much better today. It will be. It will be much better today. So let's go ahead and hop right into it, guys. If you are new to the channel, make sure to drop a subscription. I would greatly appreciate that. And drop a like at the end of the video if it does end up helping you guys out. So first thing I want to get out of the way is Jesus Christ this Marco Royce card is awesome. Will we be trading with this card? No, it's way too expensive right now for us to trade with it. I just wanted to point out that my man Royce has a hell of a team of the season card. Absolutely nothing to do with the video. But we are going to be talking, realistically, we are going to be talking about team of the seasons in terms of cheap team of the seasons to sell. Uh, and then also some gold card investments, uh, especially from the Bundesliga that you can still get in on right now. So let's go ahead and talk about the investments that I've made over the past couple hours. I bought these last night and then also this morning as well. So I've got uh, 14 of these guys, um, various different cards from rest of world. Dabber is the first one. We got him for 55k. We got another Dabber here for 40k. That was a really good deal. Uh, then we got Bozelli here. That was the one that we got out of the rest of the world SBC. I paid 55k for the SBC, so I paid 55k for the card. Paid another 55k for that Bozelli. Paid 55k for that De Jong. Paid 50k for this Bozelli. 50k for Dabber. 50k for Dabber. Then we got an Mbabu. I really liked this card. I decided I'd pay a little bit more for it just because 60,000 coins for Mbabu. I mean, that card looks super nice. So I feel like he might go up a little bit more just because he's usable. Then we've got Matos. I, I like this for 60k because he was in the previous rest of world SBC. So that hasn't been in packs for a full week now. So he's a little bit more rare on the market than players like Dabber and Bozelli. Got another Dabber here for 54k. Bozelli for 56. I think that's the most I paid for one of the Dabber slash Bozelli cards. Then we got Farfan for 55 and Farfan for 54. And that card is also slightly usable. I mean, it is a great card in terms of stats, but it's just hard to link somebody who's from Peru in the Russian League. So those are really good investments. I decided, you know, anything 55k and below, I was going to go ahead and pick up. And right now they're still going for pretty cheap, guys. So if you wanted to get in on these deals, they're still there. Right now, Dabber is going for about 60,000 coins. Same thing for Bozelli. Uh, maybe a little bit more expensive from the other cards. I think uh, Chevalier is also quite cheap. We've got Bozelli here for 60k as well. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at Chevalier. Chevalier is an, uh, another option, guys. It's not too late. Uh, it's Friday night now. Uh, the time you guys uh, should be watching the video, the time the video comes out, Friday night. So you've got about 48 hours, a little bit less than 48 hours until these cards are going to be going back up for the SBCs, and they're probably going to rise into the hype as well. So they'll probably start going up uh, on Saturday already. They'll probably start rising as it is. Uh, so Chevalier here is uh, he's a little bit more. He's going to be about 63k maybe. Yeah, about 63k. That's another good card to pick up. Uh, another card that I don't have on my transfer list, but I actually do like and might want to pick one up, is Santiago Arias. Uh, Arias is actually a super nice card for an investment, and I've seen him as low as about 62k this morning, but he's 66k now. I'm gonna wait till he drops back down. I really like this Arias card though because one, he's one of the cheapest team of the season. Two, he's been out of packs for a week. Three, he's also a very usable card. He links with the Lozano. He's also Colombian, uh, and he's also in the Dutch league, which you can get links with. Um, and his card is super good. So there's so many reasons for that card to rise. Arias is a great investment, in my opinion. If you can get that card for like 62k or less, I like that as an investment. And then I also want to take a look at the players like Adon and Sergio Busquets. So these cards are also good shouts because they are no longer in packs now. And they're pretty cheap for 92 rated team of the season cards that are also usable. Busquets I like even better simply because he is um a central midfielder so you can get him for 78k and if you guys have traded you know if you if if you guys have been a trader for more than a couple weeks you've already probably started to notice that you know midfielders defenders attackers they're all better to buy than goalkeepers so if you got a price like Busquets, who's the same price as a don or maybe even 1k more and the same rating same team or you know same nation same league all that stuff 
it's best to go with the midfielder. So what I'm saying is Busquets is a better investment than Adon. That's what it comes down to. So I, I like I like Busquets as an investment as well. Uh, maybe I can get him for less than 78k. We only have a little bit less than 400k to invest, so I gotta be a little bit uh, stingy with what I put my coins into. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the Bundesliga players as well. I wanted to cover that in this video. What we're gonna be talking about here is some of the cards that have definitely already risen. Naldo, what well, you guys might not know, he, he did get a winter upgrade to 84 rated. So his card is quite expensive. This card is all the way up to 8,800 coins, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 8,500. I think that's what he was the last time I checked. We're looking at for the 84 rated card. I mean, you know, the 82 is also going to be about the same price as the 84, but the 80, the 84 rated card is obviously the card you want to pick up. And this card may be super expensive, but he is capped at 13,000 coins. And I do expect this card to get up to about that 13K mark. So if you were to pick that card up for 8K and sell it for 13K, you are making after tax about 4.5K profit per card, which is not too bad. But there's also some cheaper cards you can go with as well. Naldo is in the team of the season, make note of that. But also Thorgan Hazard made the bench of team of the season as well. I wasn't sure if he was going to make it or not. But right now, Thorgan Hazard's card is going for about 3. Point, you know, maybe 2.9K even. Um, that's his 80 rated card, but that's still a decent investment in my opinion, given the fact that he's not in packs anymore. I'd say, yeah, definitely want to pick up the 82s more than the 80, but that 80 card was, was a pretty good deal. So I'll send that to the club and I'll make profit in the long run. Um, but mostly I, I am talking about the 82 rated card because you're probably going to need like an 84 rated, uh, team again for this SBC, but Thorgan Hazard is no longer in packs for his gold card. And we know that this card already is known to rise for these SBCs. So that's a card that could probably get up to around 7,000 coins in my opinion, maybe more at, at, at the uh, the peak, uh, but 7,000 coins is what I'm expecting for Thorgan Hazard. So I'll probably invest in a few of these guys tonight. Um, he does get the link with Stindl, and that's why uh, Stindl normally rises as well. So Stindl's a decent shout as well. You can get Stindl's right now for like 2,300 coins. You might be able to get them even less during lightning rounds and and, uh, and such, but uh, I only think Stindl will work for the uh, Sunday. I don't think he's going to work as well on Tuesday just because people are going to realize, you know, that hazard is way too expensive. They're not going to do that Stindl hazard link like they will on Sunday. So I think Stindl will work for an investment right now. So I, I'd go ahead and pick up some Stindles as well. Um, that's still pretty cheap. And a lot of people, hold on, before I move on, a lot of people are going to look at Crusa and be like, hey, why don't we just invest in Crusa? instead of instead of Stindle because Cruz is, is cheaper even though he's not right now for some reason I'm not sure why Cruz isn't isn't cheaper normally he is but uh people people will be like let's go ahead and invest in Mario Gomez or let's invest in in Cruz instead of Stindle and the reason I don't like them as much as investments is simply because yeah you know, here here as you can see I mean there's a Gomez here for 1700 uh I'll go ahead and see if I can pick one up for that price but he doesn't get the link to uh, to Hazard that Stindle does. Gomez will get a, a weak link. It'll be orange, while Stindle and Hazard get the strong link because they're both on Munch and Gladbach. And that's why I like Stindle better than Gomez and better than Caruso. I don't know why Caruso is so expensive right now. I haven't been keeping up with him, but normally he's cheaper, so that's what I was uh, going for there. But let's go ahead and move on to uh, some more defenders. Uh, Jonathan Ta, he's always one that rises a lot into these SBCs. Um, and he's been staying pretty stagnant at like 4K all week and right now he's still up there and maybe a little bit of a, of a drop right now maybe a little bit of a dip in price not too much but he's about 4.5 thousand coins right now there's quite a few of them on the market too uh 4.5k for a ta i can easily see this card um getting over 6,000 coins i don't think that'll be too difficult but um what you guys got to note is there's a lot of people that have already invested in these cards so uh, you got to look out for over-investing. Will, you know, the fact that this Taz is already at 4.5K hinder the fact that it, you know, could get even higher? It might. It definitely might. So some of the uh, ideas that my stream has actually uh, proposed to me is pick up some Germans from other leagues that people haven't thought about yet. Pick up players like Julian Draxler. He's a German, and he's at PSG here. So that would be a, a decent shout because you're getting 84 rating, and although it doesn't get their Bundesliga requirement, it is 84 rated, and you could link that card with players like Mario Gomez that we just looked at. Mario Gomez would get a would get a link there. 
Um, so that is the idea I was having there. So that is going to wrap up today's video, guys. We covered Bundesliga Team of the Season investments, so hopefully it does help you out. I don't know if you can hear my dog in the background, but I apologize if you can. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Check me out live on twitch.tv slash elite. The same name as my YouTube channel. Link is in the description. Go ahead and follow me there. I'm live every single day. You guys can watch me invest live, ask me questions, chill, whatever you guys want to do. And uh, it's a lot of fun. So make sure to follow me on Twitch as well, guys. I will see you in tomorrow morning's episode. Maybe a double upload tomorrow if I have time. Uh, I am back home, so I should have a little bit more time to get videos and streams out to you guys as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. I'll see you then. Peace out.